Okay, so um, thanks for coming. It's great. It's great to be here today to talk a little bit about what um, we've been doing to support early career researchers in demonstrating their research impact. So before I go on, I'd like to start by acknowledging and paying our respects to the Ghana people, the traditional custodians whose unceded ancestral lands we're gathering on today. So to start off with, we'll um, introduce the research and engagement team here at the University of Adelaide Library. So currently we have four liaison librarians supporting the three faculties here at the university. So there's Paula who's here with me today and I've just realised I didn't actually introduce ourselves at the start, but Linda did a very good job of doing that. So I'm Rachel and I'm here with Paula, who is on Hello. this slide here. Um, We've got Paula, Karen, Vicky, and Jasmine. And actually at the time of the workshop that we're talking about today, I was also a liaison librarian. Um, but a couple of months ago, I moved into the manager research engagement role where I lead the team. Um, so we are currently carrying a vacancy, but we're very excited. Next week, our newest liaison librarian will be starting with us. So we will have a full team in the research and engagement team. The liaison librarians support researchers within the university with finding information, managing their research data and making strategic publishing decisions. One of the key themes in the library's operational plan is supporting research excellence and impact. And our team has a key role to play in achieving the strategic objectives within that theme. So we were approached by a colleague from the research services department of the university who was involved in supporting early career researchers who were putting in applications for ARC Discovery Early Career Research Awards, the DECRA Awards. And they asked us to deliver a workshop on how researchers could locate their author research impact metrics to include in their application. And we were told that this workshop would be open to researchers from both the Faculty of Sciences, Engineering and Technology and the Faculty of Arts, Business, Law and Economics. So it would be cross faculty and covering a range of research areas. It would be the second in a series of three workshops which were being run to support early career researchers in applying for this award. So our contribution was going to be one element of this support, along with the guidance that they were being offered by research services around the writing of their applications. So of course, we're very happy to take this on as research impact metrics is something which certainly falls within the strategic publishing area of our support. Um, as we just said, one of the key themes of the library's operational plan is supporting research excellence and impact. And a workshop, workshop like this one aligns very well with this strategic objective. We did face a few challenges in the planning and creation of our workshop. So firstly, pitching it across multiple faculties and research areas. So we had to decide how we would make sure that it was relevant to everyone. For example, whether they were from a subject area which published more monographs than journal articles or a very journal heavy area, or whether they were more likely to use Web of Science or Scopus. We also suspected that we were going to be speaking to people with a wide variety of prior knowledge on the topic, which is where the title of today's presentation comes from. You know, we thought it likely we would be working with people who were totally new to research impact metrics, hence asking what an H index even is. Um, but also working with people who maybe have already gone into SciVal or one of the other tools and, and have a look around. And we only had an hour to work with for this workshop. So we really had to think about how to ensure that it would be useful for everyone across whatever level of knowledge they already had. We were also conscious that traditional metrics that are often cited, such as the H index again, or the, you know, the category normalized citation impact, they don't always favor early career researchers all those working in very niche fields, or even researchers who publish monographs rather than journal articles. And this workshop was specifically for early career researchers. And we knew that we could be expecting attendees from science, arts, humanities, and social sciences fields. So we had to think about how to approach this issue in our workshop too. Another challenge was that we actually had very little knowledge of the grant application process and details ourselves at that time. So even though we were used to supporting researchers with locating their research impact metrics on a one-to-one -one basis in consultations, 
we very rarely got to see beyond their query. So to what they're actually writing in their applications and what the applications were actually asking of them. And so we felt that we had some gaps in our understanding around the context of our work doc. And lastly, it had been several years since the team had been asked to deliver a metrics workshop like this one. And of course, a lot had changed during this time. So we basically had to start from scratch in planning and designing the workshop and creating the workshop material. But while this was indeed a challenge, it was also an opportunity to be creative and to refresh our support in this area. So Paula is now going to tell you about what we did. Hello, everyone. So this is our approach that we took. We met with a key contact at Research Services beforehand to get some context and to improve our understanding of the grant application process and what exactly they were asking for around the research impact. We sought clarification on what we proposed to do. Was this the approach needed? We didn't want to deliver a session in isolation. It's better to fit in with all the other team supporting our researchers for a more holistic approach. So would this assist early career researchers? In our meeting, we discussed doing a complete hands-on workshop or a show and tell style workshop where the researchers could follow along with us. Our session was the second part of a three-part learning program for early career researchers. And Rachel and I had attended the first session, which gave us uh, a valuable insight into the prep work they required to find metrics to build into their grant application. Our session was hybrid with researchers in the room and quite a few online. We set the scene with databases we were going to use and to have their laptops open and ready for navigation to the various resources available through the library. So we showed them how to use these tools, Scopus and SciVal, Web of Sciences and Insight, and then the Altmetric Explorer to find those key metrics, both traditional and alternative, and of course, including the H-index across the different subject areas. We worked through each tool using an established researcher as an example. We chose one from the Faculty of Arts, Business, Law and Economics, and one from the Faculty of Sciences, Engineering and Technology. And then we covered those basic steps of locating impact metrics, but also pointing out more advanced features to explore, to try and cater to all knowledge levels at the session. It was a really useful, it was really useful using established researchers, because of course um, we were then able to show the full potential of the metric tools, and these researchers had quite a lot of metrics to work with. This helped the attendees as some metrics are more meaningful in the different subject areas. And we worked on showing them what they can pull out from the metrics, what will work for them and what would be key factors in highlighting the impact of their research. We aim to highlight limitations and challenges for them as early career researchers and the importance of using metrics responsibly. Part of our focus was using the metrics as a tool to help them write their narrative as a rising star. We worked to build on the information session they had attended the week before, the one we went to as well, and we used the same kind of language so that our session fit in with the series they were all attending. This previous session was led by an academic who highlighted the importance of the story or the narrative um, as you highlight your impact in the grant application. So after finding all the metrics, we typed up a couple of narratives during the session. And this was given an example of how you could write a narrative, write your story, and put those metric numbers into context. This was really well received and it generated a few questions at that point. So let's look at the results from the session. We had 20 attendees in person and 29 joining us on Zoom from all three faculties. So we did include health and medical sciences as well as the two we were expecting. We received positive feedback, lots of commentary on how it was helpful. They know how to use the databases now and they can think about putting figures into context. We also encouraged attendees to book sessions with their respective liaison librarian for further assistance. And there were several bookings from individuals in a one-to-one -one consult and these were subsequently booked after the workshop across all three faculties. So this suggested to us that this support was needed and valued. We reflected on the feedback, thinking about our timing and who we should use it as, as examples. We had used two professors with extensive research backgrounds. Perhaps next time we might use early career researchers. We felt timing was important. 
maybe a slightly longer session if we want to deliver a hands-on workshop, or should we still run it for the one hour session, but add in some pre-work for attendees so we can cover everything in the workshop in that time slot. The session was a really good starting point and assisted us to make connections with other teams in the university. We gained more insight into the research services team, their outreach, and we built on our relationship with them. Many of them are faculty specific, but they may also work across schools in their faculties for training sessions, just as we do. So we recently ran another session at the request of research services just last week, and it was again very positively received. And we've now been asked to deliver this introductory session annually as part of their training program for grant applications. So this is part of our team's commitment to a workshop program as part of the library's operational plan for 2023. This session we delivered has provided a very useful basis for this year's workshop. And we're also discussing follow-up workshops on subject on specific subject areas with research services. Plus, we are thinking about metric sessions, other ones that we might run as part of our program. We're currently analysing on how to deliver a workshop across faculties or to individual schools. And again, we aim to tailor it to a generic approach. Thinking about the different needs of arts and business versus science and medicine. We also aim for outreach to all researchers. So we will reframe who we deliver to, looking to include postdoctorate fellows plus interested academics. And finally, in summing up, this collaborative and collegiate approach for research metric sessions is part of the key themes of the library's operational plan to develop and promote research excellence. This piece of work has highlighted a research need, one that's been really useful to early career researchers. We were successful in setting up a workshop and then cementing our place in the research support calendar for the university. It was key that we highlighted where we, as a team, can assist them. We've utilised the feedback and will apply it going forward. This involves sharing our results with our library team, thinking about sharing it across faculties, how will it work and what's the best strategy going forward. With more planning, strengthening our delivery via workshops and perhaps targeting schools within faculties, we can meet our key strategy to support research and excellence. We are now seeing more metrics queries, a growing and significant area of research support, especially as the grant application market is highly contested. So we aim to make workshops and sessions deliverable across faculties and ideally being more interactive and hands-on. We aim to be known as the key contact staff for metrics and alternative metrics and fitting in with a research schedule relating to grant applications. Training when training is required and being part of that just-in-time regime. So when a researcher needs to know what even is a H-index, we're gonna be there to help them understand. We encourage making connections with other teams to support research in the university in order to deliver effective and useful research content. And finally, this style of research session or workshop is open to development. We aim to change it over time in response to the needs of our researchers at our university. So thank you for your time listening. <laughs>